Hey guys, happy National Lipstick Day! I had something entirely different planned for today, but in honor of National Lipstick Day, I thought, how can I not make a video about lipsticks considering the circumstances? So, what I'm going to show you today is my top 10 current favorite lipsticks. And I'm going to begin with what is on my lips. This is L'Oreal Color Riche lipstick in number 254. Ever Bloom and it's a warm coral and this is a shade that I would not have thought that I could pull off but normally what I do is I start with a lip balm and then I do the rest of my makeup and then by the time I get to my lips it's settled in enough that I can just apply what I'm whatever I'm going to wear for lipstick on top and because I do it that way my lip products always go on a little bit more muted because my lips are moisturized. So anyway, yeah, this is a warm coral and I bought this because um, I do have quite a few red lipsticks and sometimes I don't feel like red but I want something that's either warm or sort of in that color family. And for example, the shirt that I have on today is red, white, and coral. Now. Normally I would look at this and think red lipstick, but like I said, sometimes you just don't feel like red lipstick. So I bought this because I don't really have a lot of peaches and corals and things in that color family, peachy nudes. I have some, but not that many. And this seemed quite a bit different than other things that I had. So I bought this and I like it, but I, I don't like the smell. I have to say that if this didn't have that heavy floral smell, I would like it so much more and probably wear it a lot more often, but um, yeah, that's very annoying, the uh, heavy floral smell that L'Oreal lipsticks have, but I do really love the shade, especially muted somewhat over a lip balm. Now, another thing that is difficult about this lipstick, though, is what do I wear for a lip liner? Well, I wear ColourPop Brink and that's what that looks like and I just have my lips outlined with the lip liner. I don't have them filled in because these colors don't really look quite the same to me. Ideally, I would like to get a lip liner that is similar in shade to the lipstick, maybe just a hair darker, but this was the closest thing I had so that's what I used. If any of you have any suggestions for a warm coral lip liner, uh, let me know in the comment section because that seems to be an almost impossible thing to find. I do not have a warm coral lip liner and I definitely need to get one because I do really like this lipstick but I'm not quite happy with using the ColourPop Brink because I don't feel like it's, it's just not right for it. So if any of you have any suggestions for that, let me know. Because I've looked. I've looked for coral lip liners and I don't know. Everything seems like it's too orange or it's not warm enough or I don't know. I just can't seem to find one that I'm happy with. Okay, so moving along, I have another L'Oreal product to show you. Uh, L'Oreal had released a limited edition collection a couple years ago. Was it one year ago or two years ago? I forget, but you might remember the Le Matte and Le Lac lip products that came out and everybody was scrambling trying to find them and they have brought them back. Some of the shades are repromotes from that collection, but some are new shades and this one is probably my favorite out of all of them and it's one of the new shades and it is called uh, let's see, where is it? Where's the name? Oh, there it is. It's number 104 and it's called Game, Set, and Matte. And it's this beautiful pink. And I'm warning you right now, there's gotta be quite a few pinks in this video because that is, I don't know, this summer I have just been back into pink again. I had gotten away from pink for a while and I've gotten back into it. 
so anyways I really like the formula of these they apply really nice you do not have to use a lip liner with these they're sort of a lipstick and a lip liner in one which is so nice because you know that's just um, a pain in the neck sometimes to have to use a lip liner I didn't swatch the last one but I probably should just to see, just to show you the difference. All right, let's let's backtrack for a minute to the L'Oreal Ever Bloom. Yeah, let me swatch that for you so you can see what the shade looks like. Swatch, because that does look quite a bit different than what I have on my lips. So this is sort of the muted version over lip balm. So that's L'Oreal Ever Bloom. And just to show you also what the ColourPop Brink looks like with it. See, so that's not, not really that great of a match, but once it's on, it's just barely okay together. All right, so the L'Oreal Le Matte in Game, Set, and Matte. I would describe this as a warm pink. And that's what that looks like. So if you like pinks and you haven't tried one of these and the full name of it is L'Oreal Le Matte Velvety Full Coverage Lip Color. So these are pretty much anywhere that sells L'Oreal now. But yeah, that's I love that shade. The next products I'm going to show you are Maybelline which I figured I would go do Maybelline next because L'Oreal owns Maybelline so this next one is uh, one of the Rebel Bloom lipsticks and when these first came out I thought they were limited edition and I had planned on trying one and I thought about it and thought about it and decided not to because I, I really try to stay away from limited edition products because um, I don't really, really like to wear things that people can't get and uh, you know with limited edition if you don't buy it right away then you can't get it but it seems like what companies are doing a lot now is their releasing things as limited edition and then if they sell well they're making them permanent which that's not really fair <laughs> but that's what they're doing anyway it took me a long time to get a Maybelline Rebel Bloom uh, lipstick because I had read some bad reviews about these so I don't know what the deal is with that but this particular shade that I got I really really like so maybe this was one of the good ones that but I don't know about the other ones because this is this is the only one that I have this is number 705 blushing bud and again it's a pink <laughs> and uh, that's what that looks like and let me swatch it for you and the idea behind these is they're supposed to be a little more sheer a little more less opaque perfect for summer kind of a no fuss type lipstick so that's what that looks like and that is a cooler pink than the last one that I just showed you that was more of a warm pink okay the next one I'm going to show you is a Maybelline color sensational creamy matte lipstick and this is in the shade blushing pout which is number 682 and that's what that looks like I love the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipsticks. These are so awesome. The smell of Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick smells like Play-Doh, which some people don't like, but I love that smell. It takes me back to my childhood because I used to have Play-Doh when I was a kid. This one is got a little bit of a hint of lilac to it, so it's sort of a purpley pink, I would say and uh, that's what that one looks like all right the next three lipsticks that I'm going to show you are the new Maybelline color blur by lip studio cream matte pencils and I have these in all the colors because I love them these hybrid 
lip pencil lipstick things are just they're so easy and so awesome and you don't have to go crazy trying to find the right lip liner to go with them you can just apply them carefully so that you don't go outside the lip line but once it sets you're all set I don't know I just I really like these there's a lot of product in these um, I think I did a separate video about these and showed you all the colors and everything so if you want to see all the shades and everything what they look like um, check out that video these I would say are my three favorites now the lip product I had on in yesterday's video was Berry Misbehaving and I do like that one too but I would have to say that these are my three three favorites so the first one I'm going to show you is called I'm blushing it's number 45 and the way you twist these up is you take the cap off both ends and the end has the smudger on it which I don't use I'm not into the whole smudged ombre thing but anyways you twist it up from the smudger so yeah this one is 45 I'm blushing and these are really opaque and pigment pigmented you guys so that's what I'm blushing looks like and it's a pink and it's a pretty bright pink I would say all the colors in this line are bold so if you're somebody who's not really into bold colors you might not like this particular collection of lipsticks but I think they're a lot of fun especially for summer the next one is number 50 I like to move it and this is just you know pretty much a typical mauve shade this one is a little more muted so if you don't like the bold colors um, this one is probably your best bet that's what that one looks like so you can see that that's definitely more uh, lighter than the last one I just showed you and then a color that really surprised me that I didn't think I would like but I do really like this is number 40 and it's called my my magenta I don't usually go for these bright magenta types of shades but I do like it that's that one and so that's you know pretty typical magenta type color but I guess I should say that I didn't really think that I could wear something like that I guess is what I'm trying to say but I do do really like that okay moving along to another brand now is one of the newest matte shades from Milani Milani has um, all these matte lipsticks matte is the thing you guys and I have to say I really like the way matte lipsticks look in comparison to things that have a lot of shimmer or glitter or shininess to it I think that they're more flattering on most people and the way that they make them all these companies now they're not dry like they used to be they have a lot of um, moisture moisturizing properties to them anyway Milani released some more colors in their matte lipstick line this one is called matte darling it's number 74 and this is uh, this is what that one looks like right there so I really really like that and I thought it maybe it was going to be a little too pink a little too bubblegummy but I, I like the way that looks on definitely uh, the next two and final lipsticks are from MAC and this is a lipstick that's been out for a long time this next one that I'm going to show you and for whatever reason I just never bought it but I'm so glad I did because I really love it it's called please me it's a matte it's a warm pink and yeah this has been in their line for a long long time and I love this I can't believe I had never tried it because there was a time when all I wore was pink lipstick so how I missed this one I do not know but uh, Mac had some limited edition not limited edition they had a collection come out 
where they released some new shades of matte lipsticks. So this shade got re-promoted in that collection. And when I saw the display, I was like, ooh, what's this? And then I was like, oh, please me, I, I've heard of that. So anyway, that's what that one looks like right there. And yeah, it's a warm pink and I absolutely love it. And the last one I'm going to show you is one of MAC's new patent polish lip pencils, which again is sort of a lipstick hybrid type thing. But this one is more of a glossy finish. It, I, it's um, kind of like the Revlon Lacquer Bombs is the closest thing that I can compare it to for what I already own. It's one of these jumbo lip pencil things that twist up and it does have a glossy finish to it. Uh, oh, it's in the shade Patent Pink, of course. <laughs> um, and I thought maybe this would be like too shiny and too shimmery and I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it, but I do. I really like it. And it gives me some variety from all the matte products that I've been wearing. So this is one of the most flattering, shimmery, glossy type lipsticks that I own. I really, really like this. They're a little pricey, but um, you know, this isn't the type of thing I would go out and buy it in every shade because of the price, but I really like the one that I have. So yeah, I definitely see a trend here, you guys. Um, the only thing that I showed you that is not pink is what I have on, the L'Oreal Ever Bloom. And then the magenta one is a magenta pink, but not really like most of the others. So there's a definite trend going on there. But I, I have a tendency to do this in the summer, just, you know, get back into pink again. And then when fall comes, I'll be into something else, I'm sure. So this is my top 10 current favorite lipsticks in honor of National Lipstick Day. And I don't know who even came up with that, but I happened to see it on the news this morning and I was like, oh, I definitely got to do a lipstick video. So uh, that's it for today, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.